All right, YouTubers, doing a little short video here about taking off this head gasket <clears throat> on a 2014 Nissan Altima 2.5 liter. Basically, I just removed the, uh, the manifold, exhaust manifold off, pushed the back. Same thing for the rear. I just took off the bolts on the top. You have some bolts right here, and then you have some between the slots here. So I just pushed that off and then I removed the, the stud and just uh, let it hang right there. Over here, <clears throat> I set my top dead center, which was uh, down here on the bottom on the camshaft. The little dot there with this little point, you can see it's lined up right there. So we top dead center with piston number one on the top dead center. And you will see your cam loops pointing opposite direction. And uh, this one moved a little bit because I took off. I just released it. I took the caps off to release it. <clears throat> but this one is basically at 9 o'clock. The dot right there. And this one here. So it will be at 12 o'clock. And I also marked the chain as well. <clears throat> so it goes back on the exact space. Now taking off these... Uh, these cam basically you're gonna have to remove starting from the middle and just remove them a little bit at a time going outwards so you don't bend the cam and uh what i like to do is every single spot i take off the cam the cap i put them back in the exact same spot so that way you don't have any ticking noise when you're taking them when you um, start your car back up after you finish everything because then that'll be a lot of problem same thing with the uh with the lifters lifter caps <clears throat> when you're taking them off you gotta make sure all of them is at the same exact spot i'm taking off the cam right now just lifting them off you can see the caps on the knee here these are the caps I'm talking about. Head gasket oil. Oh, oil. Um, has water in it. That's why it looks kind of muddy. That's how you know your head gasket is bad. But <clears throat> it's kind of hard getting this out with one hand. But just making a little short video. Also, this little cap that goes over here. It has uh, two bolts on the top. And then you have some on the inside here. Like one right here. One over here, one over there, right there, and uh, basically that's about it for there. <clears throat> over here, I just took off the water pump, made it to the side, got the water pump sitting right here, and uh, had it basically ready to come off. Not really, really difficult to be honest with you. Um, took it off. I got everything off in about two two hours. Uh, two hours in right now, and uh, I ordered the head gasket kit that comes with all the gaskets for the intake, the water pump, everything. Um, not the water pump, the uh, thermostat. I just got the whole kit with everything in it, <clears throat> and uh, basically that's it for now. Till I start it back up, I'll make another video. On how it runs but uh basically i made this video to avoid you know to just give you guys a little information about avoiding any ticking noise on your engine and just to replace all the caps back in the same exact spots and uh and also these uh the lifters also the lifter caps just put them back in the same exact spot because they're like a 16 off they would or not even a 16 um uh like a well, you use it with the feeler gauge. This would be a 14,000. If you have like 15,000, you will hear a ticking noise. 15, 16,000 of an inch. <clears throat> you will hear a noise. So to avoid all that and having an engine that's ticking, I would just put everything back together the same exact way. I took it off, mark everything. Basically how I do that is uh, I just have everything on a piece of cardboard and I mark it. One exhaust, two, I'm facing back in the exact same spot. Because as you can see, this one has a little curve. A little curve right there. 
so you gotta make sure they're facing the same way. And uh, I mark everything, so that way you avoid any problem. All right.